before we tune out here, there's one more show I want to preview, and that is Stardom's All-Star Dream Cinderella show coming up on March the 3rd, which I will be live for! Woo! Yes, I'm live, live, live for that show March the 3rd. I'm super excited for this show. It is the most stacked Stardom... I can't speak! This is the most stacked Stardom card I think I've ever seen. Like, I've been watching Stardom for going on two years now, and I don't think I've ever seen a card so loaded than this one right here. And when they when they announced this card, I said, I hope this is a live show. Because I would love to do a live reaction for it. They just announced it yesterday. So I'll be pre-ordering this show. And probably once this stream is over. Once this uh, live recording is over. But, let's talk about this card. So, my biggest disappointment about this show, probably, would be that we're having prologue fights. Brief shows. On this pre-show is Azumi versus Natsupoi for the High Speed Championship. Now, this was probably the match I was most excited for, maybe out of this entire card. Because Azumi is just amazing. Natsupoi shocked the hell out of me when she came into stardom and has been doing such a great job since then. So I expect this match to be balls to the wall action it's gonna be a great match it may even be match of the year who knows but it's on the pre-show so they're not gonna get as much limelight as they should it's still gonna kick a lot of ass though i'm still excited for it i'm gonna go with ozmi to retain the high speed championship hopefully they have another match soon that will be on the main show also on a prologue fight will be hameka and micah they are currently your goddesses of stardom tag team champions they defeated uh I believe B and who was B champions with? B and Konami. B and Konami. They'll be defending their championships against Natsuko Tora and Saki Kashima of Oedo Tai. Uh, it's Donald the Mundo, and Donald the Mundo never loses. So I'm going to go with Hameka and Micah to retain the Goddesses of Stardom Tag Team Championships. Then we head into the main show the All Star Dream Rumble. In this Rumble confirmed so far, we have B Priestley, Mina Shirakawa, Unagi Sayaka, Starlight Kid, Saida, Saida, Gokujin Death, Lady C. Now, I have not pronounced some of these names before, so if I butcher some of them, I apologize ahead of time. Shatos Nagoya, Kyoko Onoi, which is a legend in the Josie wrestling, really wrestling in general. She's had some wars with Minami Toyota and Akira Hokuto, so I'm excited to see her in this match. Shimoda Mima, who I believe is also pretty much a legend. Hiryo, Hiryo Matsumoto, who I know is also pretty much a legend in her own right. She was on the Mayon Classic before. Emi Sakura, so I'm excited to see her as well. Rin Kadukura. Mei Hoshizuki, who faced Azumi, I believe about a month or two ago on the last Big Stardom show. They had a good match. Yoko Bido. Miho Wakiza Wakisawa. Hiromi Mimura. Yuna Manasi. Haruka Kato. Or Kato. Kaguma. And Momo Nakanishi. Who was a part of the stardom, you know, return show that they had last year. Of the women involved in this match, who do I see winning? I don't know. <laughs> they're all capable of winning, uh, more so the starting women, but they're all capable of winning this match. If I had to take a big wild guess of who of this lineup may win, I'm going to say probably be Priestley. If not be Priestley, maybe Mina Shirakawa? Or Kyoko? Not too sure, but I'm excited. I'm a big fan of Rumbles. Big, big fan of Rumbles, so I'm excited for this, nonetheless. On this show, we also have Momo Watanabe versus I really can't speak today. Momo Watanabe versus Nene Takahashi. Now, Nene Takahashi was also known for her time in All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling. Not too familiar with her work, but I hear she's a pretty big name, and it's a pretty big deal to see facing Momo. So I'm excited for that match. In that right, who wins this match? It should be Momo. Like Momo has been. Her, her her booking has been kind of been has been kind of shaky lately, very very shaky lately. So I think a win over Nene will do wonders for her. 
So I'm gonna go 1-1 win this match. After this, we have Siori defending her SWA Undisputed World Women's Championship against Konami. This is gonna be an amazing matchup. Their styles are pretty similar. Stiff kicks, submission specialists. I'm actually super amped for this match now that I'm reading it. I think Siori retains. If Konami wins, all the power to Konami. But I think Siori's gonna retain here. Next, we get into a rather controversial match. Mayu Iwatani versus Yoshiko. Now, Yoshiko is a very controversial name because a lot of Joshi fans know her as the woman who basically all but permanently injured a woman, a former Joshi wrestler, and started him in 2015. And that was one of the catalysts for a, a massive walkout to happen in stardom, and they had to do a rebuilding process over basically the next couple years. Uh, what was the woman's name? Let me look this up. Yoshiko Akikuza. That was her name, Akikuza. Akikuza, I believe, had to retire. She doesn't wrestle anymore. So many were very, very much on the fence about Yoshiko coming back to stardom. I... Uh, yeah... Yeah, I think if you shoot and permanently injure somebody, there's grounds for blacklisting, but hey, that's me. I'm not in the wrestling business. Who am I to say she should be blacklisted? Mayu Itani versus Yoshiko, I don't know if they have a history with each other. If they do, I'm going to assume Yoshiko probably won their matches. Mayu Itani is the ace of stardom, or at least was the ace of stardom. Now they're really positioning... Um, um, Yutami in that role, at least as the champion right now. Mayu very much is still one of the prominent features of stardom, though. I don't see why Yoshiko should win this match. So I'm going with Mayu Yutami to win. But speaking of Yutami and the ace of stardom, we have Yutami Haishishida defending her World of Stardom Championship against Sayaka Matani, the innovator of the Shooting Star Press. I'm excited for this match as well. Former Goddess of Stardom Tag Team Champions. Sayaka Matani has come a very long way since her debut in Stardom in 2019. Very, very long way. She's improved so much. And I think that she's definitely one of the best wrestlers in Stardom right now. Will she beat Utami? I don't think there's a chance on how she's beating Utami, though. Utami has not been champion that long. Sayaka Matani is still very, very new to pro wrestling. I think she started wrestling in late 2019. So, I don't think this is the time for her. To win the champion sometime soon, maybe? Sometime soon, but now, not the time. Yutami Hashishida will retain, in my opinion. But then we lead into the main event. Julia defending her Wonder of Stardom Championship against Tom Nakano. In a hair versus hair match. Now this is interesting because I don't know if Stardom's ever done a hair versus hair match. And I also don't know if they're going all the way down to the wire with a hair versus hair match either. So, are we going buzz cut? Or are we going like clip, 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 few, few inches off the hair? How are we doing this hair versus hair match? If this is the main event, they should be going buzz cut. It should be going all out, hair comes off. Hair comes off. They've had three matches already. And if I'm correct, Julia's won all three of them. So if you ask me... Tam Nakano is due back for her win. Tam Nakano also is the leader of Cosmic Angels, which is a newer faction in stardom. Tam Nakano also has been in stardom for a long, long time and has yet to win a singles championship in stardom. Many opportunities, but has not been able to do it. But not been able to pull it off. I, 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 Julia has won so much so early in stardom. I think it would be very ridiculous of them to have her beat Tam Nakano here. Like, if anything, Tam Nakano should beat Julia, and then Yaka finally, Stardom can finally skyrocket Julia and have her beat Utami for the World of Stardom Championship. That's, that, you know that's what they want to do. You know that's what they want to do. But, honestly and truly, I think it should be Tam. Julia winning aside, Tam Nakano has been dodging and ducking winning that championship for so long. I think it's a great story to tell with her finally being able to beat Julia for it. So I'm going to go with Tam Nakano to win the championship. Julia's hair is already short. I feel like if anybody's going to want the ball look, it's probably going to be Julia. 
I don't know how she's going to look bald. Somebody on Twitter did a picture of Julia looking bald, and I busted out laughing. But I don't know, man. I think the, I think Julia takes the L here. Now, as I always say, Donald DeMundo never loses, so I wouldn't put it past stardom to have Julia retain the title here. But I think Tom McConnell takes it. 